Welcome to September's LECO challenge. Today's problem is unique binary search trees too. Given an integer n, return all the structurally unique binary search trees which have exactly n nodes or unique values from 1 to n. Return the answer in any order. You can give us an example here with n equals 3. We have three unique nodes. There's only going to be five possible structurally sound binary search trees. Now, if we have one as the root, we can have 3, 2 looking like this or 2, 3 looking like this, and that would be one binary search tree or two. Now, if we had two as the root, then one has to be on the left and three has to be on the right. Now, as we slowly look at this, we can see an algorithm forming. We could essentially start by building a root node for every single value inside of our uh, 1, 2, n. So we have to have 1, 2, 2, 3. And we want to build this up into subproblems. Everything on the left side has to be smaller than 1. So imagine that we had a function that took the start and end as a parameter. And if the start is greater than n, that means we just return none. So here on the left side, there's nothing. So we can just return a none. Now on here, we have 2 and 3 left, right? But how many binary search trees can we form with 2 and 3? Well, notice that there's these two here. We can have 3 as the root and then 2 on the left side. But we can't have 2 on the right side, right? Here, we can have 2 as the root and then 3 on the right side, and so on and so forth. We can make this into subproblems all the way up until we finish all our values from 1 to n. Now, I think the big trick here is figuring out how to actually build this up without re like overriding root nodes that we've already built. So the key thing here is actually we have to build a list of all the different subtrees. Now, let's start off by creating a helper method. This will be a depth first search. And we're going to pass in the start and end values. This will essentially be 1 to n at first. Now, base case, if start is greater than n, we have to return none. But remember, we can't just return a none. We have to return a list. Because whatever we return here on the left and right side, there could be multiple possible binary search trees. right? All right, so for i in range of start to end, plus one, let's calculate all the possible binary search trees on, on the left side. So this would be left, and this would just be DFS start to i minus one, because the i right now has to be the root. Now on the right side, turn the list of all the possible binary search trees that can be on the right. So this would be i plus one all the way to end. Now remember that we want to return a list, so I'm just going to create a temporary list here. And what we'll do is start building up our, our trees. We'll say for all the left subtrees in left and for all the right subtrees in right, let's build up some binary search trees. Uh, so root will equal tree node of i and root.left will equal l oops, and root.right will equal r. Finally, just append this into our list, and we're going to form a bunch. Right, let's return those, and that should be it. So let's return the DFS from 1 to n, and we can save a little bit of time by doing RU cache so that we don't do any repetitive calls. Uh, but remember that it's only 1 to 8, so this actually isn't going to save that much time, but you know, just, just in case. Now let's make sure this works. Uh, looks like it's working, so submit it. And there we go, accepted. So time complexity is exponential. I'm not completely sure what it is. It's, uh, maybe it's like n factorial or um, I'm not positive, unfortunately. I should probably look that up. Now, I wish I could tell you that I came up with this all on my own, but I did look up some hints. Uh, I did kind of briefly glance at some of the answers. I was very, very close to getting this on my own, but I had a lot of trouble uh, building up these binary search trees without overriding the old ones. Um, so unfortunately, I did look up some of this, but you know, I was really close. I think I got the logic and you know, maybe that's good enough. All right. Well, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.